What's up, grappling fans? Welcome to day three of Submission Week right here on flowgrappling.com. I'm Trey Robinson with Flow Grappling. Normally, normally I got Reed here with me, but Reed had to run off and go help make some of the new best Flow Grappling films that'll be coming out soon. If you haven't caught up with all of the films, go watch those now on our site, on our YouTube, wherever you like to enjoy the content the most. But in day one, you saw us break down some of our favorite signature submissions in the grappling world. These are submissions that people are known for. It's often named after them, or you know they're gonna hit it from anywhere during a match. On day two, we started breaking down some of the new generation submission hunters in the game. Some of the, the young blood in the sport that's bringing a new exciting style to the sport. And right here on day three, day three is gonna be all about the underdogs. We're gonna break down five times that the underdog was able to overcome the odds and land the submission to get the win and come out triumphant. So to kick things off at number five, we're gonna be talking about Jacob Couch submitting Roberto Jimenez with a heel hook at the Who's number one championship. Just to set the stage here a little bit, Jacob Couch got a late invitation to the 185 pound tournament at the Who's number one championship. He had to cut a ton of weight. He was already a big time underdog going in and then he pulls Roberto Jimenez first round. So let's roll the tape and check out this submission. Hand fighting from Jimenez. He gets it, it's on, it's on. Roberto is bridging up, his hand floated for a second. It looked like he was close to tapping. He's still hand fighting. His heel is very much in danger here. Roberto did a nice... Oh, submission! Submission for Jacob Couch. Jacob Couch, the biggest underdog in this division, takes out the favorite, the minus 700 favorite, Roberto Jimenez with an inside heel hook. If you want to see more about what went into that day, what it was like for Jacob Couch, then make sure you check out Daisy Fresh Season 3, Episode 1, where you get an all-access look into that day. But moving right along with our list at number four, this one's going to be, it's going to be a collection of submissions because I'm going to be breaking down Giancarlo Bodoni's ADCC 2022 run. It can certainly be said that Giancarlo was the underdog going into that tournament and then he won it decisively by submission in the finals. So roll the tape. Here's Giancarlo submitting Hulk Barbosa in the ADCC finals. Oh, that might sit on the chin there. It's under the chin. The choke is on. And Giancarlo Bodoni just tapped. Lucas Hulk Barbosa. A great performance by Giancarlo Bodoni to become the 88 kilogram ADCC champion. But this next one, we're gonna take a step into the reality TV world. I'm talking about who's next, season one, episode three, Bull by the Horns. If you haven't watched it, go check it out right now. But in that episode, we saw Andrew Tackett, Austin's very own, take on Big Dan Montessori in a classic David versus Goliath match where Andrew Tackett was able to come out on top. Remember, this is a no time limit submission only match. So you knew we were gonna get a submission out of it and this is how it went down. Yup, good, good job switching the body. Andrew, he's breaking. I know he is. We've seen both of these guys go on to keep progressing in their career, remain at the top, so it's always exciting to see someone keep making a name for themselves in the submission grappling world. But for number two, we're going all the way back to 2019 ADCC in the women's division. Bia Mesquita, the returning champion, found herself up against the Welsh grappler, Fionn Davis. Fionn went on to secure the armbar in a huge upset, shook the stadium in one of the most electric moments of the 2019 ADCC World Championship. But let's roll that for our number two underdog submission. Wow, Via standing up to defend. Fiat straightening the arm out, looks like Via Mesquita is in danger at this, this point. This is a arm straight arm, straight arm wow, was she gonna Fiat Davis has the arm. Wow. Can it's, she submit Via Mesquita? Arm on. fully extended. It, wow. Via is so tough, man. We talked about the tournament of upsets. Can so. Via Davis pull off one of the greatest upsets in female jiu-jitsu history? 
Fia wow. Davies twisting and contorting that she's arm. She's happy. And she does it! Fia wow. Davies submits. Amazing. Fia Mosquita. Incredible performance. And she was such an underdog, wow. man. That blew my mind. It really hurt Fia. What an incredible performance. Everyone's shocked. And then keeping things right here at the 2019 ADCC World Championship, I think, man, I think you guys know what I'm about to say right here. At the number one spot, it's going to be Lachlan Giles' run in the absolute division where we saw him submit Kynan, Patrick Gaugio, and Muhammad Ali to go on and win the bronze medal. So here's a taste of his run in the 2019 Absolute Division where Lachlan secured three submissions to come in at our number one underdog story. Ali, Ali's exploding. Oh, as I say that, yep. I'm gonna eat my words real soon. Lachlan yep. on the heel, Ali not fleeing right, right away. He's just sort of... This is where he finished, got Gaudio, right here. Yeah. Here it is, oh, there it is. Same technique. There it is. Gets the heel, oh, he got gets him. the submission. Oh my gosh! Lachlan Giles wow. does it again! There you have it, five of the times the underdog was able to overcome the odds, land the submission to get the win, highlighting some of my favorite moments in the grappling world. I know there's a ton more, so let us know in the comments which ones we missed, which ones are your favorite underdog stories. But one last thing I want to point out, Daisy Fresh season three is dropping right now. There's three new episodes about to drop, kicking off with season three, episode five. We're gonna see a behind the scenes look at Dante Leone versus Mika Galvao and who's number one, as well as Jacob Couch going up against Gordon Ryan. Talk about an underdog story. There's no one that represents the underdog spirit better than Daisy Fresh. So make sure you guys go check out Daisy Fresh season three. Episode 5, live now. If you're watching this, it's live on the site. So go to flowgrappling.com, check that out. While you're there, make sure you check out all of the other Submission Week content we've already published and keep an eye out for a lot more of the best Submission Week content still to come. Make sure you guys stay tuned.